divine cakes a groovy and today i'm going to show you how to make beautiful sugar seal and sugar glass the beauty of this is and the, the, the interesting part of working with sugar is that it is available it is affordable it is cheaper than using iso malt or chocolates so all you need for this are few ingredients you just need your sugar this is one cup you need your toothpick you need a scissors you need helium balloon the ones with the happy birthday right up you need one tablespoon of glucose syrup you need water this is 75 ml of water 75 ml you need your paste or gel colors you need a cup something like this you need a platform you need your spoon you need a hand glove kitchen glove you need a hand towel and a silicone mat so these are the items we are going to be using for this class and apart from all of this you also need a cooking pot and an oven or a gas, a gas or a stove to heat your sugar with helium balloon all you need to do is to put it over your tap a running tap and allow some water to get into it don't make it too big okay this is okay you pull it out gently and allow some air bubble to escape through it then you tie water in my balloon all I need to do is to dab the water from the surface so that it can dry fast and then I place over the cup I'll do the same to this just dab the water on the surface off and place on the cup so we are ready with this we are ready the next thing we're going to do is to start so here is my cooking pot it's dry there's no water in it so I'm just going to pour my sugar into it after that I'll add the 75 ml water then one tablespoon glucose syrup and then I'll heat it up on high the heat should be on should be high okay On high heat, I'm just going to gently stir my sugar and glucose and water together until it is fully incorporated. Then I allow to boil. Ordinarily, we are supposed to use a thermometer for this, but because thermometer is not readily available, that is why. I'm showing you this method which I have been using also so we are going to just allow it to boil it's going to boil for say approximately 10 minutes before I can start checking to see if we are getting close to the stage of crystallization our sugar is starting to boil gradually so I'm going to scrape, keep scraping down the side to avoid the edges crystallizing before the main sugar is properly cooked. So you keep stirring from time to time to bring the sugar together. And then you stir from time to time as well. So we are still going to allow it to keep boiling for some time. Mm, okay. Our sugar is boiling nicely and is becoming a syrup. We are close to it. 
you can see it's becoming a thick syrup gradually. So at this moment, I'm going to add my color. I'm just going to add my color so that it can incorporate nicely. I'm using baby pink. So you can use any color of your choice. I'm going to add some more. I'm using a skewer stick. You have to be extremely careful when you're working with hot sugar. It, it can be very hot. So at this point, I'm beginning to smell that aroma of a crystallizing sugar. But you have to be sure that it doesn't caramelize. It doesn't get brown. So we are very close to what we are looking for, okay? So I'm going to taste it here. I'm going to test it here and see if... It's at the stage I want it to be. Now, well, all I'm looking for is to give it a little time to see if it will set. Once it starts setting, then I know I'm fine. I'll see stirring. You have to keep stirring so that it doesn't get burned. Once it gets burned, the color will change. Yeah, our sugar is set. I can feel it. There's this, there's this cracky sand I, I, I got from this. So I'm going to remove it from the fire. So all I need to do is over the balloon. I'll just pour it over it gently. And then I'm going round, round. And then I keep doing that. I can get to make two from this. Pour from the middle in a semi semi circle motion. Just go round, round, round. You see, our sugar is already setting. Now sugar is already setting. I can see that. I don't know if you can see it also. Now the reason why you have this base is to collect the excess that is dropping. Okay, this is what is going to form our sugar glass. Just allow it to drop when it's dry. You you have your sugar glass. So you can see how it's drying already. Okay, we've done with the balloon sail. I'm going to show you how to do the second type of sail using your silicone mat. I guess most of us should have this mat. It's the regular fondant and texture mat. So I'm going to use mine. I'm not using the texture part. I'm using the back that is plain. And then I have a, my measuring cup and then I turned it over on top of something that is higher so that by the time I place this on it I will have a good suspension so while we are waiting for the sugar to cook we we'll just prepare our surface because we are going to pour the sugar on the mat now that our sugar is ready I'm just going to put the pink just to create some marble effect, I put blue here and then I pour it over the mats. Can you see that pink and um, blue effect? Don't be afraid, it will not melt your silicone mats, okay? It's a fire resistant, your silicone mats are fire resistant. So while it is still soft and wet before it starts setting alright make sure it is evenly spread then you place it over 
and allow the rest to drop. You can use a pair to tag if you want it to have to be smaller, okay? So, all you now need to do is to allow it here for say 10, 30, 20 minutes there about to properly dry up before you remove from the all-name box. If you don't allow it to dry properly, it may begin to crack before you get it off. So allow it to dry and then it will come out easily on its own. We are going to wait for all of our cells to dry properly, then we'll bring them out. We are going to check if our cells are dry. This is almost dry. This one too. You need to make sure that you have to make sure that it's completely dry. I mean cool. You touch and then you feel you feel it by touching it, okay? So let me check this. Once it's dry, you see it detaching easily. So I'm just going to gently pull this out. Wow. See how it's coming out easily? And here we are. Can you see that? Can you see our beautiful sail? Wow. And this is ready. So it depends on what you want. If you don't want it this big, all you need is all you need to do is when you place it over your surface, okay, you use a peg to tag it, or you could use a smaller circumference for your seal. So if you don't want it big, you don't need to use a wide base. Just get something small. All right, our seal is ready. You can see it. light and pretty our balloon sail is ready we we'll bring it over the sink you don't want to do it elsewhere so that you don't splash water all over your your space so with our scissors we are just gently going to cut through it and allow the water to with our scissors we are just going to gently cut over it facing down so that the water can pour into the sink as the water pours, you see that? You see that? Our seal is detaching. Can you see the balloon detaching on its own? Can you see what is happening? The, the, the balloon is automatically detaching from the sugar. So I'm just going to gently pull it out. Even if you don't do that, if you allow it, it's going to keep separating from the sugar until it's completely out. But just to save our time, I'm going to gently, gently, okay, so that you don't break the effect on your, on your seal. Nicely and nicely and gently until it's out. Now, the, if you don't allow it to dry properly, by the time you bust your balloon, you will discover that your sail will just sink in. Can you see our sail? Beautiful, isn't it? Now, if you want to do sugar glass, okay? If you don't want it to be, if you don't want to say and you want just sugar glass, the process is still the same. The only different thing is that instead of forming your your seal, you just allow the sugar to be on a flat surface. You pour it on the flat surface and allow it to dry. When it's dry, you break into several pieces. Okay, depends on the shape you want. Now, for me, sometimes what I when, what I do is when I'm doing my seal, I put a base under it so that the three the ones that drop the the drop from the main sail will just form my sugar glass so when i'm done all i need to do is to just push it out see how it's coming out push it out and then look at yeah we've come to the end of our class here is a beautiful sugar seal 
Wow, this one looks so much like a glass. Can you see it? Can you see that? So, try this at home and get back to me. Give me your feedback. Let me see. I'll be glad to know that you achieved it on your own.